hi all hope you are doing good so in this video i'm going to demonstrate you how to create a rich ui table with searching and sorting facility in visual force so in this uh, for demonstrating this i have used angular js remote objects and bootstrap so this is the screenshot of that table uh, which i have built in this i have two columns one is first name and the second is last name so i have picked these from contact object and here's a searching search box which will be available for the searching facility for searching the data depending on whichever text you enter here so what can you learn from this video so you will learn how to work with visual force remote objects working with bootstrap working with angular js so it's demo time let's move to our demo section so this is my org i'll go to my developer console so my this page is open uh, bootstrap angular table i'll just preview this so you can see like I have here 10 records uh, like if I click on this it shows me like it is arranged in ascending order when I click on this it arranges in descending order of first name like if I want to sort it with last name I just don't need to click on this it gets arranged in ascending order of last name if I click on this again it arranges in descending order if I want to search something, I'll just put here like uh, I want to search for young. So young was in last name, so it has searched for that. Now if I want to search for something like TE, so T is coming in first name Stella, so it has searched for that. Like if I just put T so it has shown me all the contacts with the which have t in first name or last name so how i am doing this that i'll demonstrate and one more thing we are using bootstrap which is a responsive uh, framework so this page is responsive as well like it is mobile friendly as well so i'll go to the code part how i have done that so for this functionality i have not written any controller as you can see in page section like i have disabled uh, html tag i have disabled body tag i have disabled header i have disabled uh, sidebar and standard style sheets as well so i have created my own head part html head part so in this first tag is for your uh, title page title second is for car set which we are, uh, which we are uh, using second is for viewport for that uh, responsive ui and then we are including uh, bootstrap css minified css for the ui part then we have jquery which is very essential as everything is based on this only then we have a bootstrap min minified js and then we have a angular minified js so these are the libraries which we are including in this page then we have created so for uh, working while working in remote objects we have to create like this apex remote objects app we have to use this and in this we have to create remote object model so model basically is connecting with an object which we are, we are which you are going to work on like i am working on contact object so i put the model name as uh, contact and i put the fields which i am going to work on like i am working on first name and last name only and then this is the shorthand just shorthand for like i have put db contacts so this i'll be using for reference in my further code in uh, javascript so I have created a remote object. Now I'll be connecting with that. So those who don't know about Angular, so let me show how to work. Start working on that. 
So first thing that you need to do while working on Angular is set up ng app. Like here, ng app is my app. Then ng controller, that is my controller. And here's a function fetch contacts, which is defined in my controller, and which will be called on the initial loading on ng init. So this will fetch all the contacts from the database and show in the table. So I'll just again go up starting. So when we start working with Angular, we first have to define the Angular module. And in Angular module, we have to define our uh, ng app, which we put in the below tag, like here. Here, like we have put ng app, my app. So same thing we have to define in uh, module section. So here, in app that module is connected then we have to put app dot controller and then we have to define the controller name and then rest of the code goes here so like I have these uh, variables these are simple variables just we need to put dollar scope uh, before every variable so this is sort type like whichever column we are sorting we are putting dynamically here so when the page loads, I'll just show you when the page loads, these records are arranged uh, in ascending order of first name. So this is the default value which I have put first name as sort type and sort reverse is false. Depending on this uh, Boolean variable, I'm identifying whether to arrange it in ascending order or descending order. So this is the variable. So by default, I have put false. So initially it comes in ascending order, like you can see here, the records are arranged in ascending order. Then I have this array, which is named that contacts and that table, uh, this table is connected with that array only, whichever records come to that array that is presented here. So this is the search text, which I have connected with this input box, whichever thing I write here uh, comes to this variable. I'll show you how it is bind with the input field. Then this is fetch contacts. First, I'll show you how binding is done. So remember search text and contacts sort type and sort order how these four variables are bind with the ui part so these were the contacts uh, the array so we are just uh, putting ng repeat tag what it does is it takes out uh, one by one contact and displays it in the table like we have put ng repeat then uh, here's a variable c so c dot first name and c dot last name i have put order by so this is for use for sorting order by whichever field you are you want to sort with and in which order like it takes true and false boolean so in which order you want to arrange in ascending or descending so this is being managed by here then we go up i'll show you how that text field is connected so for binding that with the so binding this text field with that variable search text, we use a attribute ng model. Ng model equals to search text. So this search text gets bind with that variable in the controller. And whenever something changes in this text fields, so here's a event ng uh, ng change. So what happens on ng changes? Fetch contacts is called. So whenever I type something or change something here, fetch contacts is called and again, all the contacts are fetched from the database with these uh, conditions. Like uh, if R is occurring in the first name or last name and the data is presented here. So I'll show you what functionality I've written in fetch contacts. Then uh, you must have seen like when I click on first name, this is displayed and uh, last name this glyphicon is displayed and when i click again when it is arranged descending order a different glyphicon is uh, shown 
so how I am doing this I'll just show you so here I have put a anchor tag and in that anchor tag I've put a click event ng click so whenever someone clicks on first name what happens is sort type equals to first name I have put a sort type in that and uh, I just uh, reverse the boolean so like if I click on this uh, I clicked on this what happened sort type became first name okay sort type became first name and the sort order gets uh, reversed so when I click on this sort order is getting reversed so this is being done from here and then you can see the different life icons which are appearing so how I am managing that so these are two glyphicons sort by attribute and sort by uh, attribute alt so these are the two different uh, glyphicons which I have used so how I am showing that I am checking if sort type is first name for both the conditions and if sort uh, reverse is true then show this else if false then show this okay so depending on this it is being shown so element is shown or not shown is uh, we can handle it from ng show so whenever this condition turns uh, true this takes a boolean value ng show so whenever this is true it shows that element and whenever this is false it uh, uh, hides that element from the ui so when i click on this it arranges in descending order that is reverse is true so sort type is first name reverse is true so this one this pan tag is shown when i click on this this is arranged in ascending order so when uh, ascending order matlab uh, so, sort your sort reverse is false so this false turns as not we have put this turns as true so this whole condition turns true and the, that life icon is shown now I'll show you how that uh, data is being populated in fetch contacts so this fetch contacts is called every time like it is called on page load as well as when some text changes uh, in the search box so how we are fetching the data from database so we'll be using this uh, remote object with uh, whose JS shorthand is DB contacts so what we'll be doing is s object model dot DB contacts as we are using this s object so in this we have created an instance dbcon so what we'll do we have different uh, operations that we can do with this like dbcon uh, retrieve create delete update so all these operations we can do here so what here I am doing is retrieving the data so I'll use retrieve operation in this retrieve operation your first parameter which is it is taking is uh, your where clause so in where clause I have put or condition and in that or condition I have put first name like that search text percent percent search text so it will search whether like if I am putting R in that so this will turn as percent R percent so first name if R is contained in first name or R is contained in last name so that contact will be shown second thing I have put limit limit is 10 so at max only 10 records come at a time not more than that so similar way by putting comma I can put like order by and other tags as well then the second this was one block with this comma your second block is a function uh, what it returns it returns error what even if uh, error has occurred or not so details about that records if records are fetched an event whether event uh, was successful or not and all the details about the event so what here we are doing we are just first checking whether error has occurred or not in error we are getting uh, true or false so if error has occurred we are just alerting error dot message whatever error has come if error has not come then what we are doing we are just uh, with this line we are clearing the contacts array 
then from records which we have received from database here we are putting a for each picking up a record each record and then pushing it into this contact array like you can see first name record dot get first name and record dot get last name so we are putting it in, uh, this json in your contacts array so this way whenever we click on like whenever we click on this it gets arranged depending on that whenever we put something here uh, we search the data and again and again this uh, fetch contacts is called so this is a simple code for searching sorting your data presentation without using your controller that's the best part I love because I'm not uh, there's no need to write the test class for that controller and uh, that's all in 95 lines we have covered this whole functionality with a good UI we you can enhance it more and you can add on various other functionalities like pagination and all so it is very easy with this so that's all in this video don't uh, let me go back to this so thank you don't forget to subscribe as we are going to present many other videos thank you